In this part of the project we're going to be putting some pockets in the top of the guitar surface here. But we've got the image uh, in the wrong place, it's located along the bottom face so we want to get it to the top and it will also be a good idea to put the centre line across the top as well. So this is quite straightforward. Select the centre line and hold the control key down, select the image move to up to there we are we've now got the image where we want it the transparency of the image is such that we can still see the body of the guitar behind the image which is quite handy and to work with this it might be a good idea to line the image directly in front of us so we can do that by clicking on the Z or Z axis down here and that lines it up for us our first pocket will be this rectangle here which we all know about and from previous episodes of this project we know that it is 3 inches by 2.2 so let's put that in we'll draw a rectangle find the surface then draw a rectangle 3 tab 2.2 return move Double click, move that to the center of that face there. Now we need a helper line here. Go back to the move, move tool. And that's our rectangle in position. Now we don't need to put grady eye on here because we're going to use this as a pull pull tool to cut out a pocket. So that won't be necessary to put grady eye on there. But we need this curve on the back. So we're going to use the arc sweep. That's where the centre of the arc is over here at the end of our centre line and it's 5 inches radius so it's asking for a diameter so we want 10 in there 10 tab and now we draw it now from there round to there so if we now switch off the image there's our arc in there, trim tool, I see a little bit here, image back, quarter radius here, so we'll put that on here. 0.25 pull tool and from the drawing down here we see that the depth of this pocket is 0.62 so that's what we put in
0.62 select and get rid of this line and these little bits here we don't need which are the surface right click delete and there is our first pocket the next pocket we're going to do will be whoops will be these cutouts and it looks as though these cutouts are equally spaced about the center line we've got here so we'll select a circle and get ourselves on the sketch plane so now we can right click and make this a mirror line and we've got a radius in here which is 0 0.406 We can find that and draw a diameter 0.812 and there we have two equally spaced about the line so now by clicking the move tool and control clicking and control moving we can get another two if it decides to work and right oops I've got three now but we can right, well we'll get rid of these two so now we've got four circles and we can put the line in and then we can put these in We want a tangent line from here. Yep. Now in theory we should have all this done. Or we could do with another line along there. So we'll tell you what we'll continue on here. And these two are also symmetrical, so we can. Then we want a tangent line from there to somewhere on that line there. Okay, so that means we can trim. Now that's all our symmetrical bits done so we can turn off the line. So we'll continue with this cutout. We'll put up the 2D drawing. And we'll continue with these parts. I'll probably speed these up because I think we're all fairly familiar how we're going about drawing these shapes.
Okay, that's most of the pockets outlined. I'm going to leave pulling the pockets till the next episode or next part and also I'm going to leave the outline of this one until the next part because this shape merits special consideration. So we'll look at that in the next part. See you later. Bye.